There are certainly very important things we already focus on as speech language pathologists to support preschoolers' language and literacy development. For example, we teach them the sounds that make up words, and we teach them vocabulary, and we engage them to participate verbally as we read books with them. Also, our traditional focus in language intervention on having preschoolers use language to communicate their wants and needs is a very worthy goal, but these skills alone are simply not enough for laying the foundations for later academic success. In addition to these skills, we need to be thinking about exposing preschoolers to and getting them to practice with using language for thinking and learning. We call these uses of language academic language or a term that's just more appropriate to use with preschoolers and kindergartners academic talk. They also need to learn to use language for staying on task and learning about the mind. We call these uses of language executive functions. These two sets of skills are separate, but they certainly are very interrelated. The better preschoolers are at these specific uses of language when they enter kindergarten and first grade, the better they'll do in school. That's just a well-established fact from lots and lots of research. As professionals working with preschoolers, we need background regarding the variety of skills that make up academic language and executive functions so we know what specific skills to foster when we're working with them. And we need practice in learning how to foster these skills. But once we're armed with this knowledge, as you'll see in this series of courses, we can easily and seamlessly integrate these skills into the many things we're already doing with the preschoolers we work with. <music>